bet you think that once you get together all the elements of your website, making a good website is going to be a stroll in the park. But you need to make sure that all these elements create a unified look and feel. See, if you just slap your site together, it's going to look like a mess. But if you incorporate some of the design principles we'll discuss here, you'll be able to establish site unity, the key to any well-designed site. Here are some quick tips to help you acquire that unity. First, color. You might be tempted to use all your favorite colors. Don't do it. Instead, pick a palette and keep using those same colors for the whole site. Three or four tops and try to keep them all related to each other. Look at this page. It really only uses three colors. The main color is green and you can see it in the graphics, the layout, and even in the photos. Since red and orange contrast well with the green, either of them would be good options for accent colors. If we click through the site, we see those same colors keep popping up. So on another page, we could swap out our dominant color of green and replace it with orange, and it would still maintain site unity. Why? Because it's the same orange from the other pages. It doesn't add any new colors. Choose colors carefully. White text on a black background can be very hard to read, but too much white can be hard on the eyes of your visitors. You can learn more about good colors to use online at websites like colorsontheweb.com and colorblender.com. And if you'd like to know more about color theory in general, this is a great place to check out on the web. www.colormatters.com Let's go back to the site we were just looking at. Did you notice something else about this site? Even though the content changes on each page we click on, the layout always stays pretty much the same. See? Everything's arranged in almost the same way as the home page. The navigation bar is in the same place, the footer's still there, the banners at the top don't move, and the main window here shows different content but stays in the same place. We call this a design template. And if you set up a template for your site, it will really help organize your site and give it that unity we mentioned before. Many web page development applications have features that will create templates for your site. Your home page connects to all the other pages of your site. These other pages are referred to as sub pages. All these sub pages have the same navigation bar as the home page, including a link back to the home page. This makes the site easier to navigate. Check out this handy thing. It's called a sitemap, and it's a representation of all the pages on a site and how they connect together. Some sitemaps are more helpful than others, but bigger, well-designed sites usually have a link to their sitemap in the footer. We're showing you the sitemap in this case so you can see how the subpages connect to each other and to the home page. Sitemaps are pretty useful when you get lost on a site trying to find a specific page. Can you really get lost on a website? Well, a website can be as big as you want with all of the pages expanding out from the home page. You might find that you need pages in your site that expand upon information found in one of your subpages. Because these pages will be subordinate to the subpage, we call them sub subpages. I know, maybe somebody could have come up with a better name, but what are you going to do? They're programmers. Let's look at a few more sites. See these? Even though there is a site map available for these sites, you don't want your visitors to have to use it. 
Getting lost in a website is a universally bad thing. The worst thing that can happen with your web design is that it will drive someone away from the site and he's not going to want to see it again. This is why the biggest design principle we can teach you involves organization and smooth information design. It all leads to user friendliness. What is information design? It's the idea of designing something to make the information in it easy to find and use. Sounds good, right? Bad information design is hard to explain, but easy to spot. So let's look at some sites with less than stellar information design. Like these sites, with tons of moving elements, heavy flash intros, and graphics that so heavily integrate the links and navigation, you need to play some kind of detective game to find the links. That's bad information design. Remember when we showed you that first simple home page and told you that it ought to quickly inform the visitor about the site's purpose and function? In these examples, finding the purpose and function is less than easy. It all comes back to clean design. Sure, you might want to show off, but just like we've been fond of saying in the video production unit, just because you have 101 amazing effects doesn't mean you should use them all at once. Websites are usually created to communicate information. Even if your website is strictly meant as a way to show off your multimedia prowess, you should still make it as easy and intuitive as possible for your visitors to see it. Here's a simple trick to seeing what a new visitor will see when she comes to your page. Look away from your site. Hey. Look back. Note the first part of your page that catches your eye. Ask a friend to do the same thing, even. The first thing they notice should be the most important part of your page, your site logo or your navigation bar. If this isn't the case, then you'll probably want to reapproach your design. Part of clean design means good organization. You can have sub-pages and sub-sub-pages and sub-sub-sub-pages, but this is what your sitemap is going to look like. If you want to get from the sub-sub-page here to the sub-page over here, you'd have to do a lot of clicking and a lot of thinking about what category the new info you're seeking falls under. As a good rule of thumb, you should be able to not only click from one part of the site to any other part in one or two clicks at the maximum, but your site should be so well organized that it's intuitive to see where that information is and how to get there. Fortunately, there are some web design specific features and tools to help you get organized. Frames are smaller pages that you can combine together in order to create one full page. Each frame is independent from the rest of the page. Frames can even have their own scroll bars. Frames can be tricky to implement, but can save you a lot of time and effort. For some sites, you might put the navigation bar into a frame. This means that we could simply link to the same navigation bar over and over again and have it load into a frame rather than making a new one for each page of the site. As you can imagine, this can save you time in building your website. Another thing that can save you time is CSS, which stands for Cascading Style Sheets. These are commands that define the look and feel for a site and conform all the elements of your site to that style. Using CSS, you can create specific styles of text that your whole website will reference. This makes it easy to keep a consistent look without having to do the formatting again and again for each individual page. What we've discussed here are design fundamentals. Remember, unity, organization, ease of use. Anything fancy or pretty you build should be built on that foundation. Over the course of the unit, 
We're going to add to these examples, and along the way, we'll show you more examples. But the best thing to do is learn from watching the experts in action. Some good examples can be seen at designisdead.com and choppingblock.com. If you want to know what's current in the ever-changing world of design, check out what the big guns are doing and ask yourself why it works. Also check out www.webpagesthatsuck.com. This is a website that devotes itself to teaching by showing you examples of bad design. Sometimes it's more helpful to see what doesn't work than to see what does. That's a lot to absorb. So take your time and lay out your design with some good thought behind it. A good plan means that you'll be that much closer to developing a great website.